If you want to calculate the distance between two cities, it's possible with another API like I'm going to show you in this video. But watch out. It's the distance between two cities by road. That means if you want to calculate the distance between Paris and New York, it's not possible because there is no road. So the API will return exactly the distance by road. But watch out. You can have a different distance if you use it today, for instance, or maybe in one week. It depends on the traffic and also if a road is closed, the API we will return another road and the distance will be slightly different. So here, I'm in my dashboard and as you can see here, I have for the moment only one API activated. So I return to the library. And this time I'm going to select this one distance matrix API. Again, I activate the API. But this time, I don't need to recreate a new key because if I return to credentials, I can reuse the same API key because I haven't put any restriction on it. So I return to the library. And I'm going to read the documentation of this API. This time, I'm going here, distance matrix responses. And here I have, again, two examples, one in JSON and one in XML. But here I have to confess that the example provided by Google is not the best one. Let's see why. I copy it, I open it in a new tab. I forgot my API key. So I return to the console, credentials, and I copy my API key. And I paste it here. So what is the problem here with this example? In fact, I have not one, but two origin addresses and two destination as well. Why that? Because when I look at the parameter origin, I have Vancouver, Pipe, Seattle. In fact, I have two situations. I don't understand why they provide this example. So I remove one city and the same here. I remove Pipe, Vancouver. There is something else I have to show you now. It's mode bicycling. Honestly, to calculate the distance is not really useful, but to calculate the duration in the next video, it will be more interesting. So for the moment, I remove this option as well. So now I have the distance between Vancouver and San Francisco, and the distance is here. What is interesting to notice here, I have two nodes, one value, one text, and the text is in kilometer. If I return to the documentation, I have different optional parameters. And one is a units. That means I can specify if the result will be in metric system or imperial system to return in miles and feet. So if I add this parameter, let's say here, units equal imperial ampersand so yes the text now is in mile but the value hasn't changed at all it's still in meters so that's very important to notice that whatever the unit you have selected in fact the numerical value will be always in meter so now let's return to excel i copy my api and i paste my example here I select the first part of my API and I write it in my web service function. I select Orlando. Now I have to copy the ampersand destinations equal. Ampersand. This time the destination it's B2. And finally the API key. 
I don't keep the parameter and language. It's not necessary in my case. Status, OK. That's very good, perfect. So now I just have to apply the filter XML. I select C2, where is my XML? And my XPath is distance slash value. And here I have the distance in meter. And if I want to have the distance in kilometer, just divide the result by 1000. I select my three cells and I copy down. Very good. I just want to show you something very interesting. It's here, Toulouse and Second City Laval in France. But if I remove the country, I have an error. Why? It's because most of the time the city selected by the Google API are in North America and there is Laval in Quebec close to Montreal. Let's check. So status OK, address Toulouse in France, but destination it's Laval in Canada. And of course there is no road between Europe and Canada. So when you have an issue like that, it's important to indicate the country and now it works. But now, if you want to have the result in miles and not in kilometer or meter, well, what you can do is to use a function inside Excel, distance, miles, and this function is convert, what is a number, this one, here it's in meter, and you want to return it in mile. Very simple, like this. 